Hello and welcome back to my Camp Half-Blood themed Animal Crossing Island. I did a video a couple months back and I decided that I got such a positive feedback that I am going to show you guys an update. So I've added a couple things onto my island. Some are Percy Jackson themed, some are not that I just kind of wanted to add. So here is my main pavilion. Nothing's really changed out of this that um, I really didn't add much except if you see over here I've just added kind of some bridges that here is the volleyball court again and I've added this surf shot because you know with the new diving update and I felt like if they could they would have this on the island that, so that's kind of a non half blood themed here's my little board rock and my little cafe that I just kind of like the look of with my blue balloon and head over here to my arts and crafts area that this comes in very handy especially as I was working on this update and what my favorite part is that when I don't want to carry all these items that I have these benches that I can drop my items onto and then as I please I can grab them and normally I have these benches filled completely up but I am trying to get that five star so I pulled that off so it doesn't affect my ratings. So I turned my uh, racetrack into my Pegasus stable here. This is one of my new favorite features. Is the grain silo for the Pegasus and um, a well for water. And I'm gonna head over here and kind of loop back around that this is my arts and crafts area. And now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna stick to my path so I don't destroy my flowers like I did last time. And let's take this over here and go through the labyrinth. This is still my favorite part of the island that I did and it took forever but I feel like it turned out amazing. Alright, and I'm gonna head over here that this is another feature with the swimming update. I decided to kind of add a diving area that I have a little bit more to add to this but here I'm gonna switch into my swimming gear to show you guys my little diving area. Oh, I forgot with, I have a custom outfit on, so I have to take my custom outfit off in order to put my swimsuit on. So, I'm gonna take that off. You know, it's ABC, but, and then you know, my fireworks that you'll see later on that I was surprised at the end of my video on my fireworks beach. So, get rid of my wand, get rid of my wand, and gonna dive right in. Oh. You know what, I'm just going to dive over here for sea creature to see what I get. Come on. There we go. Nice! And since this is my first, oh, there he is, my first scallop of the day. And let's see what I get. Hey man, this scallop is yours. Can you have it? Alright, sure, here you go. Alright. Let's see what I get, and let's see his words of wisdom for the day. I always kind of like this little tidbit he likes to add. All right, slay me your truth. If you love someone, send him a mixtape, and then he'll think about it for 15 years. Oh boy, yeah. All right, today is a good day. Goodbye, friend. All right, let's head over here. Let's see what I got. Oh, I forgot that I can't look at... Alright, let's get back over to the shore and go back to the tour. A nice little fun detour on the island tour. And let's see. Alright, oh, I forgot what I had left off. Alright, so I'm going to take off my suit again and switch back into my camp attire. And let's see, let's see, let's see... Out where I don't see any DIY sort of items. Let's see if I got any clothing. Oh, mermaid shoes. Let's put them on. Oh, I forgot again that with my custom outfit that I already have that, so I already know what they look like. So here we go into the Grove of Dodona. It's still one of my favorite parts because I can go in and get any sort of fruit I need. And oops, I ran over my flower. I need to connect that path again. Yeah. 
Let's go over here. Another new feature that I really love that is not really canon with the camp, but I feel like if the Athena kids could have it, that this library is super cute, that they can do their capture the flag planning in here, or just do some research, or you know, what Athena kids would do. And let's go over here. This is my archery area again, and let's go and visit some of my villagers. I've had some different villagers that I have swapped out of over the last couple of months that were kind of my dreamies that they don't really go with the theme of the house for each Olympian but the outsides reflect it so this is gonna be my first new one and it is drumroll Miss Tia that I think she's super cute and in kind of Dionysus drinking I don't know. It kind of somewhat meshes, but she's super cute. And uh, let's move on to my next one that I kept my girl Bianca. That I think that she is still a perfect Aphrodite daughter. And I added a statue in the garden with the roses. And let's go into my Artemis house with Miss Fauna. She is still on my island. She's still one of my favorites. And. Let's go over here and say hi to her. And yeah, I always just love the idea with Fauna, with the deer that in the book, with Artemis, that you can see her talk um, when she's talking with Percy in her camp. She has a deer on her lap. Oh, oops, I forgot to talk to her. Oh, well, uh, I'll never let her leave, so it's, don't worry about it. And let's go over here now that we have in the middle my still my hearth for Hestia. And here is my Athena house, and I have good old Raymond still living there. And he is not there, so we'll move on. And this is my Demeter house, that it's Flo. She is one of my first villagers that I just can't trade her out. But I have over here, so I have a new one, that he was one of my dreamies from the beginning that I took forever to find him. And we have Miss or Mr. Julian, that depending on how you view him, that he is very Julian. Oh, and here he, oh, he's doing a DIY. Let's go and take a look and see what I can get from him. Yes, I love the Julian show. All right, let's see what kind of DIY we can get. We're getting a bunch of good content here while we're doing this island tour. Rosebed. Oh, perfect. This is a DIY that I don't have, so this is awesome. Oh, he's so cute. All right. I just love his house, too. That, obviously, Poseidon for a horse. I forgot to mention that, that he's still in the Poseidon house, that I swapped out Renee for him. And let's go over here, pick that up later. And that, oh, let's hope he's home. No, he isn't. Oh, Stitches, yes. He was another one of my dreamies that I think it took over a hundred tickets to find him. All right, you know, I'm just gonna clean this up because here we go. And then the Apollo house is still my friend Jeremiah the Bullfrog that he has a very Apollo-esque personality that he's very outgoing and friendly. Oh, I haven't talked to him in a bit, so I get the sass from him. All right, let's move on to the next house that we got a couple more to go. And here is the Hephaestus house that she isn't very Hephaestus, but this is another dreamy that if you can't tell, I love my horses. So I have Savannah here, but it took me quite a bit to find her as well. And we're going to head over. Her. And of course, I just love her house. And we are going to go to the last house, which is, oh, excuse me, Flo. Oh, and here's, yes, it's Cookie's house for the Hermes cabin. And she's doing her yoga, so I'm going to let her be. So we're going to head over here now to show off the rest of my island that this hasn't really changed, that we still, but I'll still go ahead and show it if you haven't seen my other video, that here is the campfire sing-along area that... They do for the campfire sing-alongs, and up here is the climbing wall, minus the lava and the fire and everything fun about the climbing wall. 
but unfortunately I can't do any fun things like that, so we have to settle for that. And on to the last little part over here. We're gonna go down. And let's see. You know what, we're gonna go over here. They have the lake, canoe lake right here and the strawberry fields which is kind of my flower fields that I do my flower breeding oh and I have a visitor so let's go ahead out oh, there's my girl Bianca and let's go and see who is visiting today and maybe we can see if another one of my dreamies is in here oh who are you I don't know Robin well it's nice to meet you, but you aren't one of my dreamies, and I like anyone on my island, so I'm not really gonna talk with you much longer, so let's finish the rest of the tour. Alright. Let's head over here. I don't have very much on my beaches over here that, if you have any ideas that I can put, um, put for my beaches, drop them in the comments that I have my little fishing dock right here. I love this part. And I need to add some railings still. And here's my little boardwalk. And then I love this little area for little sing-along area that I can see a lot of the Apollo kids sitting here doing their music and whatnot. And it's just a cute little area on my beach. And I'm going to pick up this little such bottle and head over here to the other part of my island my little makeshift bridge towards my store and that's about it and what I'm gonna do now is I'll be right back I'm gonna time travel and I have a special treat for you today so don't worry I actually didn't time travel that I had this clip saved previously so I have my fireworks attire and so I thought that I would take it to the fireworks beat to show off some of my fireworks that for the fireworks event that Animal Crossing is doing. And I love just how in the books that at the end of the summer they do their big fireworks events. So why not add this to the end of my video? So enjoy the fireworks. And I requested, oh, here is my little sparkler. Wee! All right, and so I requested to do a little fireworks show that I used the signs that I did for the different gods. And let's see, hopefully they'll start showing up here for the symbols of the gods. Come on. There we go. So we got Apollo, we got Hephaestus, we got Hermes, Artemis, Athena. Perfect. And I feel like this is a great way to end my video. Thank you again for watching my video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this and if you would like to see more Animal Crossing content from me. And thank you again for watching.